My hope for the movie is that it will present the people in the pilgrimage as human beings, not as um, dangerous, mad extremists as we've all been led to believe. And I do believe that, you know, my time with just a week really, but I've got to know all the people here, and they're fantastic people, really caring, lovely people. And I just, it makes me angry that, you know, they're all, they're, they're sort of portrayed as some kind of deluded mad mad creatures when actually it's the other way around you know <laughs> yes gosh well I don't know I mean I did you know this team picked itself you know these are people who are committed filmmakers who are um, you know powerful and talented people in their own right so it's just a joy to work with them, really. And Diego just goes off and directs his own things and shoots stuff, and I don't know what he's filmed yet. We won't know until later. And the same, same goes for Maria. She's got a wonderful eye for cinematic shots. And, and Ludovica, well... You know, I've uh, worked with her at the National Film School, so I know that she makes very entertaining and intelligent films with, um, you know, that are not you know, the sort of thing you normally see on television. They're a bit more sort of uh, thoughtful and contemplative, and there's a political underplot, you know, quite often. So I wanted to make a film. Um, you know, I thought if I was coming on this march, this pilgrimage, this um, protest, this cry for justice that um, it would be good to, you know, make a film about it at the same time. Suddenly all these people with um, passion in it and, um, you know, some kind of desire to make a change in the world for the better, you know, after this horrendous banking collapse and, you know, the biggest bank fraud theft in history. <laughs> they are all a bit appalled by it and we'd like to see some real change instead of all this window dressing and rearrangement of deck chairs on the Titanic. at a launch in Regent's Park Mosque in central London and I was um, there uh, to launch an interfaith website which has been funded by some very rich um, Iranian Jew uh, and I met Sarah Jewell who is one of the leading lights of the Occupy movement and I'd heard about a pilgrimage that was setting out the Canterbury and it had struck my imagination. Um, uh, and Sarah told me that um, 
you know some more details and gave me a number for Tanya who's, who's running this and I thought oh okay well that's maybe something I should do Tim took this to heart and began to notice every time Maggie gave up a warm fuzzy to somebody else. Eventually he got very worried and upset because he liked Maggie's warm fuzzies very much and didn't want to give them up. 